In this video, we will solve problem 2.46, which is find the equation of motion of two different systems. We will draw the free body diagram and derive the equation of motion using Newton's law of motion for each of the systems shown in the figure. I will start with this pulley system that has a mass and a spring, and then I will do this problem, which has two pulleys, a mass, and three springs. Let's start with the first one. I will draw the free body diagram of the pulley and the free body diagram of the mass. We have the two reactions of the pin. We have the force of the spring. Since the block is moving down, I will assume that the rotation of the pulley is in this direction. So we have a force of the spring to the left. Then we have the tension of the rope. Then we draw the free body diagram of the block and we have the tension as action and reaction. I will draw the weight, but remember that the weight will cancel out with the deflection the static deflection of the spring. Since this is a not flexible cord, we will be able to relate the motion x with the displacement of the pulley. So this displacement over here is theta r, and that will be exactly equals to x. Therefore, we have that theta is equals to x over r, and that is valid also for the velocity and the angular acceleration as well. We will take a moment at the pin because we don't want to find the reaction of the pin. And that will be equals to negative 4R, the force of the spring, positive R, the tension. And that will be equals to the mass moment of inertia of the pulley theta to that. The force of the spring will be the constant of the spring times the deflection of this point where the spring is attached, and that will be 4R theta, plus the static deflection. In the case of adding forces in the block, I will add forces in the vertical direction. I have the tension minus the weight equals to negative the mass and acceleration of the block. I will solve for the tension, and the tension will be equals to negative the mass times the acceleration squared plus the weight, and I will plug that into the first equation. So this is my first equation, this is my second equation. So I put one into two, and I get the inertia theta two dots plus four r k 4r theta plus the deflection negative r times the tension equals to c. Let's simplify it and we get plus k 16r squared theta, and I will cancel out the static deflection with the weight equals to zero. Now, I have to put the system in terms of only one variable. I can choose to put it in terms of theta, or I can put in terms of x. If I put it in terms of theta, I have to substitute x to dot, and it will give me the mass moment of inertia of the pulley plus r squared m theta two dot plus k 16r squared theta equals to zero. It will be also correct if I decide to write the equation in terms of x, in which case it will be over r plus m all that multiply x to dot plus k 16r squared 
x divided by r equals to 0. One r cancels out, and I can divide the equation by r. So it will be the mass moment of inertia, r squared plus m, x2 dots plus 16kx equals to 0. The natural frequency can cal be calculated by either equation, which is k over mass. And in this case, will give me exact the same natural frequency. So it doesn't matter how which e variable you use to describe the motion of the system, you will get exact the same natural frequency. Now let's solve the second problem, this system of pulleys and a block. Now let's draw the free body diagram of the block. We have the force of the spring. Very important to analyze where this force of the spring goes. If I assume the displacement to be downwards, I will draw the force of the spring going upwards. The force of the spring will be 2k, the displacement of the block. And then I have a force. I will draw the force upwards, which is this force of that tension. Remember that the block has a mass, but I will not draw the weight because I will assume that the weight cancels out with the static deflection, so I will measure x from the static equilibrium position. So you see we have the force there that we don't know, therefore I'm going to draw the free body diagram of the pulley. 1. Let me call this pulley 1. By action and reaction, I see the same force F, and I see two tensions. This tension is exactly the same because this is an ideal pulley, and the pulley is massless. So, if we add forces in the vertical direction, we have that the two tension is equals to the force. We still do not have the tension of the force, but we have to see that the tension is a flexible cord because we have a spring over here and a spring over here. So the cord is one spring and then is another cord and then we have another spring over here, which is, so this is the cord that we see. Here is K. And here we don't have any flexibility in the middle. Then we have 5K. So this is springs in series. Therefore, we can find an equivalent constant of that for that chord, which is like that. Therefore, we will have 6K divided by 5k squared. That will be 6 over 5k. So my k equivalent is equals to 5k over 6. And we can say that the tension of the cord will be the k times the displacement of the cord. If we assume this point to be 0, we will see that this it has a displacement. This displacement over here is what we call x, and this one will be 2x. So the displacement of the cord will be 2x. Then we substitute t in the equation 1. Let's name this equation 1. So we have that 2t, which is the constant equivalent over 6 times 2x is equals to f. Therefore, f will be equals to 10 over 3kx. So now we go back to the free body diagram of the block. We will add forces in the vertical direction, and we have f plus 2kx equals 
negative mass time acceleration. Remember that we put our displacement downward, so this is mass times acceleration of the block. So we can write mx2 dot plus f, and we say that f is equal to 10 over 3kx plus 2kx equals to 0. We simplify this, and we get that 16k over 3x is equals to 0. And this, and this is the equation of motion. We can calculate the natural frequency. Will be the equivalent constant of the spring divided by the mass. And here we see the two problems that we solved to get the equation of motion, the natural frequency, and here the equation of motion, the natural frequency.